Hey guys, this is Alex from Trade Mate Sports and Odds Hero, and today I'll be taking you through the differences between sharp bookmakers and soft bookmakers. But before I get started, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification every time we post a video like this. It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Robin Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. So firstly, let's talk about sharp bookmakers. An example of a sharp bookmaker is Pinnacle Sports. Basically, they're known as the sharpest bookmaker in the world. Sharp bookmakers' business models are based around high turnover and low margins. So they take a smaller margin on the odds of a game. Most of the time, it's somewhere around 2%. This not only provides bettors with the best odds on a game, but it actually more accurately reflects the probabilities of a team winning or losing. But even though they provide the best odds in the market, they're actually harder to beat than the soft bookmakers. Their odds are market driven and are adjusted through sophisticated mathematical models, which makes them a lot quicker to reacting to changes in the market. For example, a change like Lionel Messi being ruled out of a game for Barcelona or a professional sports better like Tony Bloom putting a million dollars on Barcelona to win. Sharp bookmakers like Pinnacle Sports is where professional sports bettors place their bets. Why? Because they don't limit winning players. This is why the odds provided by the sharp bookmakers are the most accurate reflection on the outcome of a game, because they allow the sharpest bettors and the smartest bettors in the world to bet with them, and because their odds are updated by the second. Essentially, they're just using the information from the smart bettors to adjust their odds. Now, let's talk about how the soft bookies operate. There are way more soft bookmakers in the betting world. The most well known would be the likes of Bet365, Ladbrokes, William Hill and many more. Their business model is the exact opposite of the sharp bookies, taking higher margins on the odds of a game. Most of the time it's around 5-10%. to Because they take a higher margin on the odds of a game, they actually offer the most unattractive odds to a sports better. For example, if they were going to offer a betting market on a coin flip, their odds would be somewhere around 1.8 to 1.9 in odds on each side, which as you know doesn't really reflect the true probability of a coin flip, which would be 2.0. But even though they do offer less attractive odds than the sharp bookmakers, they're actually easier to beat. This is because the soft bookmakers adjust their lines manually or they just copy the lines of the sharp bookmakers. So when something changes in the betting market, say Lionel Messi not playing for Barcelona, there is a delay between that news and them changing their odds. And this is where Trademate Sports comes into play, identifying the opportunity of a value bet. But the downside to soft bookmakers is that they spend so much time and money marketing themselves towards an unsuccessful gambler or just the average punter that when you make money from them, they limit you. When they decide to limit you, well that's up to every bookmaker, it's different at each bookmaker. But just know, they don't like giving money away. So the goal with value betting is to extract as much value as possible from the soft bookies before they limit you. If you want to know the best ways to stay under the radar, I'll leave a link in the description and you can check out our article on how to stay under the radar of bookies. Thanks for watching this video guys. Once again, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. And as always, if you have any questions regarding this topic or any other topics, feel free to leave a comment in the section below.